Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the BizTech Academy. Steve here, and this is our Excel series. And today I'm going to show you how to create drop down lists in Excel. But what do I mean by drop down lists? Well, if you look at this, for example, there's a little table here with five different questions. And what we have on the first question is, which of these is your favorite color? And on here, you can click on the answer and click on the drop down list here, and it gives you a list of particular colors. And we'll just choose one blue at the top. And there you go, that's it. And that's the use of a drop down list. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to create those. And I'm also going to show you how to, to add a little bit of conditional formatting to answer questions red or green if they're right or wrong. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so what I've done is I've cleared the color question here. And that leaves us with the color question and four other questions. There's a question about what to have for dinner tonight. There's a question about music, the Beatles or the Stones. There's a question about how many Dalmatians there were. And a question about what is the capital of Norway. Now, you can see here that I've got two tabs, the bottom of the uh, workbook here, questions, uh, which is obviously this table here. And I've got the data, which is the answers. So you can see I've got the questions at the top here. And then you've got some answers around the colors. So a list of colors, list of dishes, Beatles or the Rolling Stones, various numbers for the numbers of Dalmatians and different capital cities to choose one for the one for Norway. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a drop-down list for each of these particular questions, respectively. And how you do this, and we'll start with the colour one, you click on the cell where you want the drop-down list. And then from your ribbon bar here, choose Data. And once you've got the Data tab open, go to Data Validation, which is usually in the right-hand side of uh, the menu bar. Uh, click on Data Validation. And then where it says Validation Criteria, and allow, change where it says any value to list. And what that will do is that will give you a different menu here. And you have also a section called source, and that is a, the, the data source where you want to create the list from. So you click on that, and then you highlight the data. So for this particular one, this is about the, the colors question. We go to our data tab. We have our question one here with our colors. We highlight the range of colors, and then we press OK. And then what we have here, is we have a list of colors. And we can choose whichever one we want, for example. Go back, choose another one if you want, doesn't really matter. We'll do this one more time. So choose a, uh, a dish for dinner tonight. So again, data validation from the data ribbon. Where it says validation criteria, choose list. And then on the source, click on data, which is where we have it. I'll just move this across. Highlight all the dishes and then press OK. And there you go, you have a list for dinner tonight, whatever you want to have. I think we'll just have tacos with ground beef. So what I'll do now is I'll just fill the other three in quickly, and I'll come back and show you how to use conditional formatting for the right and wrong answers for the last two questions. Okay, so I've added all these other filters in. Uh, so we'll just fill the first one in Beatles or Stone. It's a difficult question, and I'm sure that many of you will disagree with me, but I'm going to go with the Beatles. Uh, and then we have these other ones, how many Dalmatians and what is the capital of Norway? And you can see we have the drop-down menus. So here we have a list of numbers for the Dalmatians. And then for the capital cities, we have a list of capital cities. I've already done the conditional formatting for the Dalmatians. So for example, if we choose a number here, now we know the answer is 101, 101 Dalmatians. So I'll click that and you can see it then becomes green. If I'd have chosen a wrong number, 99, it will go red. And it then gives you the opportunity to highlight very easily what is good or bad or wrong or right from the answer. We'll just get that right again. So to do this, to apply this conditional formatting, you click on the cell and you have to do two particular commands. We'll go to our Home tab and we'll go to Conditional Formatting here in the middle. And under Conditional Formatting, press New Rule at the sort of almost two thirds of the way down. And that will open up a little box here. And this box, has a number of areas. Where it says style, go back to the classic style. And then where it says only format top or bottom rank cells, which is a type of conditional formatting, click on that and go to the bottom to where it says use a formula to determine which cells to format. And we're going to click on that. And what we're going to say is the formula is if this cell equals, and in inverted commas, Oslo, because that's what we printed. If it equals Oslo, then we want it to go green. And we're going to press OK. And that will put in that cell, behind that cell, the conditional formatting that I hope when I click, click, click Oslo, turns it green. OK, great. 
But if I turn to Stockholm or Helsinki, it doesn't go red. It stays as white. So I've got to put another condition in there to make that happen. So what you would do, you'd go back to conditional formatting, and you would go back to new rule, and you would go back to your classic. Then you want to click where it says specific text and choose no blanks. So if there's no blanks, we want it to be red. So we've already put a condition in place that says, if it's Oslo, go green. But now we're putting a condition in place below that other condition that says, if it's not blank, so if it's anything else, make it red. And now we'll try it. So let's go back and let's try Oslo. Okay, Oslo is green, great. If we now try Stockholm, so Stockholm is red because it's not Oslo. Helsinki is red, London is red, Tallinn is red. But more importantly, if we delete anything from this cell, so we haven't chose the answer to the question yet, we'll go back to white. And we can check this. So if we go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, we can see the two rules. So if I just extend this, you can see we have one rule that says if it equals Oslo, if the cell equals Oslo, go green. And it says if the cell does not contain a blank value, go red. What you can do is you can actually change the order of these. So you can see if we highlight the bottom one and click the up arrow, it removes it above. Now, if we do that, you'll see that it will take the action first. So if we take Oslo now, it will go red. We'll just undo that because we don't want it in that order. So we'll just check again. Oslo, green. Helsinki, pink or red. And if I undo it, it's white. OK. So as you can see, drop-down lists are very easy to put in place. Uh, also, when you combine them with conditional formatting, they can really create different looks and, uh, and allow you to pull out data very, very quickly. Okay, that's it. If you'd like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and press the alert button. Excel videos every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>